Hi, it's Mike Gillespie. Thanks for joining us here at ChrisTV.com. We're wanting to take a look at some of the resources that are available to folks in our city who need a helping hand from time to time. And today, our search has taken us here to Timmins Ministries. We're located in Flower Bluff, and we want to see specifically what it is that they have to offer. Let's go inside and take a look. It is not a particularly big operation. Executive Director Kay Berry tells us that there are three employees who oversee the day-to-day -day operations of Timmins Ministries. When it began nearly 20 years ago, there was one. Much of the work is done with the help of volunteers. What started as a sandwich ministry facilitated by a local church has grown into a day resource center that now offers, among other services, a crisis pantry. It provides groceries each month to those who live in the area and who are not necessarily homeless, but who would be considered low or no income families. In addition, Timmins delivers groceries to the elderly or infirm who are unable to come to them. By contrast, the lunchroom is open to anyone. Each day, five days a week, about a hundred people show up to get a hot meal prepared by a man named Mark Baker. He began volunteering with Timmons about 10 years ago as a dishwasher. Now the kitchen is his. Baker himself used to be homeless. Through the years, this charitable organization has evolved from being primarily a feeding station to becoming something much more. In addition to laundry and shower facilities, it now offers a complement of health services, including medical and eye care. And it's not just for the local community, but for all low or no income and non-insured individuals. In order to offer a proper medical care to those who need it, Barry says they have both a doctor and a nurse on contract. They have proven to be particularly helpful to those with diabetes. The only requirement is that for Timmins to be able to supply you with medicine or to help you obtain an ID or even a birth certificate to aid in a job search, you have to pass a drug screen. It's something that Barry says is as close to an unbreakable rule as you will find. And that's why we want to be drug free because we can't ask you, uh, the taxpayer, a law abiding citizen, uh, to give us money when, uh, if we're just going to enable somebody. One other important part of the work of Timmins Ministries is their dental facility. From the outside, it doesn't look like much, but step inside and you will find the capacity to care for three dental patients at a time using equipment you might find when you visit your own dentist. One of the biggest things we've done here is we have a dental clinic. We've had that since 2009 and we not only remove the teeth, but if we pull your teeth, we are going to get you dentures. Mm. We're prob we don't know of any other organization doing that. But that's the brightest day, brightest day of the year when somebody gets their new set of teeth delivered and they can smile and they can get a job. Their health will improve, all kinds of things. Unfortunately, they are only able to use this facility to offer complete dental services about once a month. The reason? They cannot find enough dentists who will volunteer their time. And volunteer is the key word. Timmins is funded by churches and individuals along with grants and fundraisers, but they also rely on the generosity of others. If you would like to help, they would like to hear from you. To find out more, visit www.timminsministries.com or simply call 937-6196.